so here we have a beautiful pig middle. Still has quite a bit of leaf lard or kidney fat attached. Also a good layer of fat on the ribs and tenderloin. And a really nice full rib and short one. I'm very happy to be working with such a healthy looking animal. Let me just flip it around and begin to clean it up a bit. First I start with trimming any of the extra leaf lard. I'll usually keep it separate from harder fat from the loin. As you can see here, it practically melts in my hand. It's great for rendering. This little nugget is called the hanger steak. Not really big enough for a dinner, but it's a nice snack or just throw it into the sausage grind. Just gonna give a little trim of the film on the edge of this outside skirt steak or diaphragm muscle. Okay, on to retrieving the kidney. That's just located at the end of the tenderloin. It's a good sign to see it engulfed in fat like this because it shows the signs of a healthy animal. Let's cut it open to check out the inside. Oh yeah, so gorgeous. Last little bit of kidney fat here. Okay, and now I'm going to cut away the skirt as close to the bone as possible. When taking the film off the skirt steak, for beef or pork, I like to use my hands as much as possible. Pulling the film up and away with one hand and pushing down with the other so the meat won't tear. This cut is really great for a quick grilling, carne asada style baby. Okay, important detail for taking out the tenderloin is moving your knife in and out following the shape of the spine bone. This helps get a few more ounces of meat on the tenderloin right where it should be. There you go, a nice meaty pork tenderloin. For trimming it, I like to just clean off the excess fat and take the side chain off. Okay, now to separate the loin from the belly. I'm going to cut right where the sirloin meets the belly, right up to the rib. Then I'll mark it on the rib side here and make a straight cut to the other side to meet where I left off. Pulling the belly away from the loin as I cut is going to help me keep on track with the natural separation. Flip it on over so I can line it up. I usually make a cut just after the chain eye that's located directly under the loin eye. I lightly mark the skin to line up for a nice straight cut. Then I'll cut straight down to the bone and pop my knife in between each rib. After I flip it over again, this is going to act as a marker for when I remove the ribs. Okay, now I'll cut the soft spot between the rib plate and the feather bones, which are more like a hard cartilage. The feather bones are a bit embedded in the belly, so as I remove it, I like to take them out in one piece.
I slide my knife on top of it to slice back the meat and fat, but not to remove this flap as it can be cured with the belly for bacon. Then I slide my knife underneath up towards the cartilage until you feel it releasing from the belly. There it is, one nice piece. It can be thrown in with stock bones or used to make a riette. Okay, now using the holes I poked from the top side, I slide the tip of my knife down each rib. This is going to separate the intercostal muscles from the bone and leave it on the belly for a meatier bacon. and then flip my knife under each end of the rib to release it from the belly. I'll flip it over again and cut down the back side of each rib until the loin is completely separated from the belly. Oh man, this is going to be a gorgeous bacon. Stay tuned for part two on cutting the loin, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.